Curtis. It's Ms. Messer, your friendly neighborhood art teacher. And today I'm here to help you with the third step of your project. So our project for our project today, we gathered our artwork from yesterday. We've got scissors, we've got we've got glue, we've got scissors, and we've got a black piece of paper. And we should have already cut out our yet our artwork from the other day into simple shapes of different sizes. So rectangles, um, triangles, and squares. And now I'm going to show you how to assemble it into an artwork that looks like a building. It's going to be so cool. All right, so you're going to put your piece of paper down, your black piece of paper, and you're going to put your, you're going to have your scissors and your glue over here to the side. And what we're doing today is called collage. Collage is when you take little tiny pieces of paper and you put them all together to make a new artwork. And for our collage today, we want our collage to look like a building because we've been talking about architecture. We speak in architects. So I've got lots of different sizes and lots of different shapes, and I am going to play around with them. The cool thing about collage is that I actually don't have to decide on anything until the end. I can keep playing around with different designs. I could make towers. I could make some skinny towers. I could add some roofs on top. I don't know about that. That doesn't really look like a building to me. That looks more like an arrow. Maybe I would put this on its side. I'm going to keep playing around with it. Oh, I really like the way that looks. And maybe I notice, oh, this is kind of too big. Maybe I'll make, cut something, cut it down a little further. Oh, and I can use, I can make a little tiny square and I could put my little tiny square on top of my building. That might be cool. Um, what else could I do over here? This doesn't quite look finished. I'm gonna keep going. Hmm, maybe I'll add this on. No, I don't think I like that. I'm gonna keep going. Remember, we're making a building or a house. Hmm, not big enough. Oh, that looks so nice. I really, really like how that looks. And I did not just put down the first thing and glue it all down. I made sure that I like it first, which is really important. So now that I like it and I've made something awesome, what I'm gonna do is keep it in the same place but I'm gonna use our rule for glue. And I'm gonna put dot, dot, dot. I put a dot in each corner of the other side of my piece of paper. I'm gonna press it down, oh my goodness. And I'm gonna keep gluing. Here I go again. I'm gonna put a dot on each corner or on each side. Press it down. Looking so good, I love it. I'm doing such a good job. I'm so proud of what I'm making. Look, I put a dot in each corner. I don't want to just put one big giant dot here in the middle because then my paper is going to flap around and it won't be attached very securely. So I'm going to put baby dot, baby dot, baby dot, baby dot. Maybe I'll put one baby dot in the middle. Oh, well, I've got some really good baby dots and I remembered our rule for glue. It's dot, dot, not a lot. And I can keep going. Boop, boop, beep, bop, boop. And I'm almost done. Wow, this is so cool. I love what I'm making. I love making art with you. And I'm so lucky I get to do it every day. You really make my day worthwhile. You make my day special when I see you. When we get to make our work together. There I go, and I love this. I added a little tiny square at the top. Boop. And you know what? I like that little tiny square so much, I'm gonna add one more on the other side. That's a very nice detail. Details are the really special little tiny parts of our artwork. Wow, that looks so nice. And you might be thinking, Ms. Messer, I have all these leftover scraps. What am I supposed to do with them? Save your scraps. Put them back in your art kit bag. Nothing goes to waste in the art room. You have done a